Right, I've had a sudden influx of followers over the last few days, so most of you will have found me from the making a pebble mug video. Um, so I just thought I'd hop on and say hi and introduce myself a little bit. Um, so I am Joe. Hi. Um, I'm a potter based in Surrey in the UK, just south of London. Um, I've been doing this for about three and a half years now. Uh, got into ceramics quite accidentally. Didn't study it at school. Uh, I went to university for graphic design. About de graduated about a decade ago. Um, then I worked as a graphic designer for six or so years. Um, and around the time of the Brexit vote, my the company I was working for were looking to make redundancies so I, I took that and used the money from it to essentially start Old Forge Creations um, which it took a, a couple of months between the two but what happened was um, we were my wife and I were planning our wedding at that point and we wanted to make something for our save the dates so that people would have oh, this ball of clay has an air double in it. It's annoying. Um, we wanted to make something that people could keep as save the dates and would actually use. And we settled on making coasters. And we couldn't find anyone making interesting personalised ceramic coasters. There might be someone now that wasn't um, back then, or no one that we could find. And I kind of said, how hard can it be? And obviously the answer is harder than you think whenever you say that, but um, what we did was we borrowed a kiln from a family friend who had a little 40 litre uh, kiln lying around. Um, we were only working in earthenware, so it wouldn't go particularly high, but that didn't matter for us at that point. Um, and we got our design for it 3D printed, and then I was rolling them out on the kitchen table uh, with just a rolling pin and cutting them with a cookie cutter, uh, stamping them and then firing them so they're earthenware and I was using pre-made glazes so firing to about a thousand degrees and they worked really well, we were really happy with them um, and I had realised at that point that firstly there's no one selling personalised coasters um, and the way that we'd made them worked quite well but also you could mill uh, leather hard clay with a CNC milling machine so you could cut individual patterns onto coasters um, and so you could do individually personalized things including things like um, kids drawings because it was each one was completely personal you could get a kid to write a message and you cut that into the coaster so I started a business doing that got a little CNC mill and a better kiln and did that for a little while. Um, but there was lots of downtime while running the mill because it would take a while to cut the clay each time. Um, and I used that to learn about the rest of ceramics. So I was hand building and um, looking at stoneware as well. So I was doing earthenware firings for the coasters, but at the same time I was using stoneware and um, clay and glazes to make hand-built planters and things like that. And then I started making my own glazes um, and got hold of an old broken wheel which I repaired in a slightly bodged sort of way but got it working and I could throw with that. So I taught myself how to throw from YouTube videos. Um, and Instagram, but mostly there's so many great 
how-to videos on YouTube. So I just taught myself. And after a little while, stopped making the coasters and just became a full-time throwing potter. So I don't hand build, I don't make coasters, or at least I don't make coasters the way I was then. I just throw full-time. So that journey took probably the first year and a half of the business. As I said, about three and a half years in now. No, yeah, three and a half years. So it's been a few years worth of just throwing constantly now. Um, and that's pretty much how I got started. A few other things, the name Old Forge Creations is because the studio is on the site of a 16th century forge and the place is called uh, the Old Forge so it seemed like uh, an obvious name for it and it was creations rather than ceramics because at the very start I wasn't 100% certain that all I'd be doing was clay I was doing some metal work and things like that at the same time uh, but then this kind of has taken over um, Right, well I don't think I've done a particularly good job of either throwing or answering questions or explaining anything there. Um, but I'd love to hear how you found this channel um, and what your experience with clay is, whether you've just done it a little bit at school or whether you've done evening classes or even if you haven't done it at all and you just like watching the, the kind of the slow soundless videos of this. Um, so yeah, comment below how you found the channel and how you found clay, how much experience you've got with clay. And if there's any questions, well, I mean, there'll be loads of questions that I didn't answer there because I probably should have prepared a list of questions and didn't. But um, if there's anything you want to know about how I got here or my process or any of that sort of stuff, comment below. Um, and thanks for watching.